YouTube and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be doing season 2 of how to mod a faction so basically this is going to be a series where you guys can learn how to mod a factions or you can just apply it to any server that you want to do any map so um yeah let's get started so basically we're going to be doing world painter today and this is mainly the start of your factions like before it even begins and I'm going to be redoing some of my old tutorials before like how to like mod a villager and stuff like that so yeah basically terrain is really important for your faction server so basically what you guys want to do is download this starter pack that I have in the description below and it's going to include once you open this up well I have it open in WinRAR just extract it right click on it and I'll include WinRAR just go to WinRAR labs I'll have a link in the description everything will be linked in the description if this is like a RAR file But you can extract it easier for RAR But um, yeah, it's gonna have the cactus repository custom tree repository fantasy tree repository Um right here is all the custom brushes, which I'll show you like you have all the custom Ones here. It's pretty cool all the custom ones custom brushes world painter the exe for it and you got Java That's what's gonna that's what it's gonna ask for so Basically, I can't really show you guys how to install it because I already have it installed. So, um, you guys need to figure it out on your own. It's really simple. It's pretty straightforward. If it asks for the Java, just go into the Java folder, like the JRV or whatever it was saying. And it will say like, something about EXE and you just put it in. But if it doesn't work, guys, it will say locate or just like Java. You just go to the official website, World Painter website. I will leave a link. In the description if I can find it but yeah let's get started so basically you guys are gonna want to open up and this is uh, a terrain that I'm working on for something you guys can already kind of guess what it is but um yeah basically you guys are gonna want to open up the program and you guys are going to want to go to tools and open custom brushes folder so what you guys are gonna want to do is go into each folder like hill mound and just drag it in basically so I already have all mine so basically it has all the custom brushes that you would want and yeah you just drag it in not the folder guys the individual picture so um yeah that's about it there so basically now once you have all of that you have all your custom brushes and they're not gonna appear just yet you gotta close down your program and then restart it and it should work so what you guys are going to want to do to start a map, you want to go to New World, and you're going to want to go to 10, 24 by 10, 24. If you're playing this like after the Better Together update, you guys can expand it to like four times. I know it works in a certain amount. If I can remember, I will try to re leave it in the description below, but I don't know if I can, like the certain numbers. But that's the 360 size. And so, what you guys want to do is turn it to flat, go to beaches, and turn off beaches. Uh, keep it on grass, unless you want to change it, and just press create. Okay, guys, after you restart your program, the custom brushes should be appearing on the right. So you guys are going to want to go to the spray tool. I'm going to showcase all the tools. Or the three tools that we use for custom train making at least. Uh, I'm going to pick on this block. And basically it's going to scatter all these blocks around the map. And yeah, we don't want that right now. You guys can adjust the intensity right now. Mine's is at 8%. The pencil tool. The draw tool is the exact opposite of it. You'll have a giant like circle of it and you can mold it how you want. You can have the whole map like this. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of all of that. And we're gonna start carving the train. So let's start by making mountains first. So right here is the raise tool. And you guys are gonna click on it, pick a custom brush. I recommend Mountain 5. We're gonna try this out and make sure to have your intensity at 100. That would help you a lot, actually. And yeah, let's get started. So 
I'm going to start by carving out some mountains here and then we can show it in 3D mode. So you guys are going to want to move it how you want to really. You can have any types of mountains. Let's have let's have that. And we can see it in 3D view too. View. Show in 3D. And it's really simple. So this is the small mountain we're making right now. It doesn't look too impressive. But we're going to change that pretty soon. So I'll be back once we have done all this. It takes a while as you can see how it's slowly going through. It's, it's taking a while. Okay guys, so we are back with the mountain. So this is how our mountain range is coming along. It looks pretty nice. That's what I did. I just did like a mountain down the middle. It kind of divides it. So yeah. Let's get into custom biomes now. I'm going to showcase this real quick. So let's say we want, I don't know, all, let's say we want all of this to be desert. So let's go to desert and we're going to go to draw and have your brush all the way up actually to 100. So you can just do this. Um, it's kind of hard to do like all of this. So I'll be back once we have all of this done okay guys so we are back after five minutes of doing that so um yeah the biomes doesn't really matter which biome we have it as you could keep it as planes if you wanted to but yeah that's the basics of that so let's start putting in some more terrain so let's get to the terrain tool and we're gonna like just spread some random terrain here so it doesn't look as flat. If you're planning on putting water somewhere, which I'm probably not going to, uh, just make sure it's flat because your water is gonna look weird. So, yeah. We are going to get some trees now. So let's go to layers. And let's go to add. Add custom object. And click on this icon, add. And you guys are gonna find the repository so I recommend wherever you put it just drag it out extract that whole folder it'll be in the starter pack but I have it on my downloads so let's go to custom tree repository and go to bo2 and let's go to African trees I think and you can see like you can see a preview of it what you're about to get I don't know if this is what I want. I think I want South American trees. Let's go back to downloads and let's go to custom tree repository, PO2s, South American trees, and let's find a good South American tree because, oh, that's actually a good one. That's the one that I use for Alpine, I'm pretty sure. So you can see like a display of it, how it's gonna look. So if you go to 25% right here, it looks pretty decent so let's actually start and what I'm planning on actually before we do that I'm gonna like continue to go to blocks and it's all how you want to do it really these terrains are really easy to do and I can obviously do all this on screen so let's do this let's go to let's make this a whole sand biome actually guys uh, intensity is at 100 okay so yeah let's make this a whole sand biome so I'm not gonna cut this out. It's really easy. It just takes a while because when I'm recording it, it drops my FPS by a lot. And it's insane. Yeah, let's do all this. We're getting there guys, but it's really easy. I'm just spamming it because it's easier. Like whenever I drag it, it just um, kind of lags by a lot. As you can see here, it's just, we just like go over here. It, it, it slowly starts appearing and it's like kind of laggy. Actually, no, it's a little bit, it, it's good actually. It's not, it's not as bad as I thought. And we are almost done. Yeah, this is really simple guys. Let's go over there. and let's place all that like that all right so that 
And let's get this little chunk here. All right, that will set us up for a desert biome. This is more of a savanna biome, basically. So where your custom layer is gonna be, the one that you, the tree that you picked, it's gonna be right here. So you don't have to make the same terrain as me. I'm just showing you guys the basics. And right here is gonna be like a wasteland area. So I can show you guys caves and special things that you can do with caves. So right here is my object. So you guys can change the color. We're not trying to remove it, obviously. If you wanna edit it, you could have done this from the beginning, but if you don't wanna get confused, you can change the color to like whatever. I chose mine's this green. So let's go to okay. And we're gonna spray this everywhere. You guys can change the intensity of it. So let's go down to 9% because we don't want too many trees. And you guys can add a variety of trees. So let's go find some more trees. Add and let's find that tree looks nice actually. Let's see how this looks. Let's go to 25%. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's add in some more trees because we need them. But let's go into... Uh, that's okay. I want to see how that tree looks down there. Uh, that's not bad. That's not as bad as I thought. And let's go into this PC. Uh, wherever you put your custom trees. Let's go to BO2s. And let's go to African trees. I think it will fit in perfectly, actually. Um, like an African tree here somewhere. Let's see how it looks. Uh, not too bad, actually. Um, yeah, let's try this out. So, you guys can just spread it all around. I'm going to put mines at, so we can make like a jungle up here. And you guys want to keep in mind that you still need a place for your spawn. So just make sure um, that you have a place for your spawn. So, yeah. This is probably not going to be used for uh, factions. I'm just making this. So I'll put this in the download. So if you guys want to see it, how easy this process is. And, yeah, I'll be making a video on MCC Tool Chest. So basically, you guys are going to want to use your... I don't think it even matters though. Actually, let's try that again. Actually, let's go back. Um, sorry about this, guys. Let's go back. Let's go one more. Control Y. All right. So let's go to spray tool actually. I want to I want to be on the safe side guys. So let's go to spray tool and let's spray this all around here. And I think we're good. Yep, that that's good. That's good. So let's go to spray tool again. We're gonna spray this all the way here. And I'll show you how this is looking in the 3D view so you guys are not too lost. So right here is, and if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section below, because I will be answering all of them. So yeah, this is really easy to do. Um, you got all of that. We're gonna fix that one patch right there. And yeah, let's do this one patch right here. This is a little bit messed up. Actually, that's, let me go to pencil tool. All right, that, that's better, that, that's much better. All right. So that is all good there. So all these biomes are looking pretty good. Our spawn is going to be right here. Let's go add a cactus in. And it's really easy to do all this stuff. Add custom layer. You want to go to. And if your like, layout gets messed up, guys, all you guys really need to do is go to view and go into. I think it was workplace layout and then you want to go to reset current and default so yeah it's really easy guys so that's all done let's start working on the wasteland but let's add in the cactuses right now so the cactuses are really easy you just need to go to the cactus repository that i um just put together i found all this stuff online but i thought it would be easier just to put it in like a repository thing for you guys so let's do that it's gonna come out really cool and make sure you're on the spray tool and yeah all you guys really need to do is this uh put some cactuses around looks really cool uh, i guess we could have to spawn somewhere 
uh, there. I just left some space there. I don't know. You guys can do whatever you want. However you want to spawn. But I'm just leaving a space for spawn. Just for building purposes or copy and pasting purposes. Add custom. And I'll do like an MC edit tutorial how I get all my maps and stuff. And yeah, I'll do that pretty soon. So all you guys need to do is go to... Actually, no, we're done with the cactuses. We're not, we're not doing anything there. So, this is kind of hard to explain, like, this whole tutorial. You guys can just do it as I go along. I feel like it's not even, like, a tutorial anymore. I'm just making this terrain. But I'm trying to, like, guide you guys through. So, hopefully, you guys don't mind that. But, um, yeah, right there is all the cactuses. And we're going to render this, render this on PC so you guys can see this. So, um, yeah. Right here is the wasteland that we're about to do so let's go to granite i don't know what would be wasteland better up no we're not getting all that that's a little bit too much let's go to permadirt or something like that yeah that sounds good permadirt and we're just gonna put it to pencil make sure when you want something on pencil you put it on pencil yeah we're gonna race all the way to 100 percent and we're just gonna spray it right. Spray, spray away. I don't know what happened there. I really don't. So um, yeah, it's really not too hard to actually do all this. Uh, let's do all this right there. And yeah, we're just gonna gonna do all this. It's gonna catch up. It's gonna. I'll be back once we have all this done. Okay guys, we are back. So now I'm gonna go over custom caves. So custom caves are really simple. You can go down to your custom layers and go down to custom cave slash tunnel layer. We're gonna do a ravine first so you guys understand how to do it and then we're gonna do custom caves. So basically the fixed level. So ceiling, fixed level 88. Floor, fixed level 80. We don't want that. Uh, let's say we want our ravine to go down to 10. So as you can see, it's about to change. Uh, but right there, that's pretty flat. So let's start changing the variation range. And this is going to make it look... As you can see... Wait a minute. That's the floor. Let's change this by a little bit more. And yeah. Alright. So as you can see, you can see these like variations and stuff. It looks pretty cool. And the ceiling... If you guys want variations, go to four or whatever number you want. And the ravine can be at any height. So what I'm thinking is 256 for the maximum. So it basically breaks the ground. That's what a ravine is. So it's basically a cave that breaks the ground. So uh, yeah, it doesn't even matter about the roof. So it only matters about the floor. And we can do the walls if we want. The walls can have cool things actually let's let's customize i'm gonna show you guys the customization thing and, and it's really cool actually so let's go to width we're gonna keep it at the same let's go to add and this is gonna add a custom material basically you can have a combination this is what we're looking for here so let's say we want a combination of some cobblestone and cobblestones for and obsidian which is 49 so yeah it's 49 okay so that's 500 actually no i forgot to add new material add new add new material and go to cobblestone cobblestone and obsidian so that looks pretty good right there guys if you were to say if i were to say so myself it looks really good as you can see and that's the custom material for the walls and we don't want to do anything for the floors because we need ores there so yeah that's about it let's go over to draw and we're about to draw this line so it's really easy uh make sure it's on this pencil because you're gonna get choppy lines like just random lines of a 
random lines of a ravine so it won't be too good. So let's have like a ravine. That's pretty realistic. If you want, you could have like crossing stuff like that. But no, we're not doing that right now. That looks weird. Um, what I'm thinking, let's redo that line actually. Let's have it coming in from this way. Let's have it from there. That looks decent. I don't like that curve right there. Let's try this one last time, guys. Perfectness is key. What the heck? That was an accident. Uh, let's do this. Uh, or let's just go across. I have a better idea, guys. Let's go back. Control Z. And th the last time I'm about to do this. So let's go along the edge of this. This looks pretty shaky, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so we have a ravine going from there now. Let's try that. That part doesn't look realistic at all, actually. And let's try this one last time, guys. Okay, we're gonna get this right. That's better. Okay, that's a ravine right there, and we can add in some more mountains if we want. I think all of that's good, so I'm gonna teach you guys about other things right now. So we have the cactuses over here. We have the trees over here. And I'm going to show you guys this in 3D so you guys can get more of a picture of what I'm trying to say. And sorry for the long tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, so yeah, we can fix that grass if you want. We're going to make some changes to the cactus biome, uh, the spawn biome. And right here is your whole forest biome type of thing. Here's your ravine wasteland area, which we're going to change pretty soon. And we're going to add in some dead things pretty soon. I don't know. I'm going to try. We're going to try to do... Add... We're going to add a custom object. We're going to look around for some custom trees that we can add. This PC downloads. And... Let's go to... Custom... No, Fantasy. And let's go to WoW. BO2... And let's see what kind of trees we can add. Oh, wait. 37, actually. I know 37 is like... Uh, wait a minute. That looks kind of decent. 54, 57. 57, I think, is what you're looking for. I really think so. Uh, 1%. Actually, no. Yeah, that's intensity. Yeah, let's go to 1%. And let's go to spray tool. And we're able to spray this all over. So as you can see, we are just spraying this everywhere, guys. It's insane. Getting all these trees in. Really not too hard. The simplest part of the whole thing, actually. So as you can see, it's not going to go over the ravine. Some might glitch, and it might, like, uh, it might create, like, a really cool glitch where the tree is just, like, hovering over it, and it's, like, attached to it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that's about it for all of that. We're gonna add in some more things to the desert biome, which we're gonna have to do. Let's go down to that, uh, brown stained clay, and we're gonna spray this. So let's go to 1%, and we're about to spray this all over. Oh, that, that looks much better, guys. And let's spray that green. All right. So that's basically about it. If you guys want to do custom caves, it's really easy, actually, guys. Um, I showcased it with the ravine. It's basically the same thing, but you want to fix your level to the bottom. So right now, we're going to export this. And, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the cool settings that you can do. So let's go from no include chest. You don't want that. Uh, no large biomes default. Uh, structures, make sure to turn that off. Uh, we can turn it to default creative because we need to, yeah, allow cheats. Uh, let's call this testing. So yeah, it's called testing, and we can go to resources, caves and caverns. If you guys get too lazy and you don't want to make your own caves, you can just turn these on and it'll generate pockets for you, but that's not too bad, actually. And you guys can turn off random stuff, so let's get rid of, uh... 
water because I hate that randomly coming out of nowhere. I don't know. I just don't like it. But yeah, lava. Lava can stay. We can actually amp that up to six. And you can change the ores to your liking. So I'll be back as soon as we are done. Okay, guys. So once your map is done exporting, basically, I'm going to show you guys how to install MCC Tool Chest. Click on MCC Tool Chest install. And you also need VCC Runtime. Uh, when you're dealing with Xbox ruins, so make sure to get that if you're dealing with Xbox ruins. If you're opening up a save game, that that just make sure to get it just in case. That's probably the reason why your thing is not working. And then you guys are gonna want to go to you're gonna want to go to MCC Tool Chest once it's done installing. Open up a save game, that that. Go to Tools, convert from PC, and we're gonna get the testing rule. And I'm gonna show you guys this on PC. So let's go to testing. One, two, three. Extract it. And I'll show you guys this. And it's really essential that we use this. And I'm going to be using this for the faction terrain that we will be using for all the mods and stuff. So, yeah. So it's converting right now. And I'll be back. Okay guys, so we are finally on the console edition and this is the end product. It looks pretty good in my opinion to be honest. We added in some random trees. It's really simple to make terrain. This is the desert biome that we made and our spawn is going to go right. We should have an area for spawn. I'm pretty sure we left the area open I think. I think we left one area. Yeah, we did. We did right here. So this is where it's gonna be, uh... Okay guys, so we are back on the console. So basically, this is how the faction terrain is gonna look. We got caves, I'm pretty sure it should be... I remember selecting it. Sometimes you can't find caves, it's kinda hard, but as you can see, we have ores here. But yeah, there's caves in this map, it's pretty cool, it's a really cool map. And yeah, it took a while. I wanted to like do it on screen for you guys so you guys can see. I gave you guys a little bit of a tutorial. The tutorial kind of went as we went. So yeah, as you can see, you have this biome slowly creeping in. Um, you got the permadirt. And this is how the ravine's going to look right here, as you can see. And this is what I was talking about. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is what I'm talking about. And then you have the craters here it's pretty cool guys um as you can see i'll leave this world down in the description below if you want to use this terrain i don't know if i'm going to use this for like the whole faction series but i'm just going to like do like a spawn i'll show you guys how to use mc edit and yeah my new gta server will be out pretty soon so you guys can have the old one and i still have two more episodes i've been slacking on uploads lately so i'm going to get back on that pretty soon so i have two more episodes to upload and yeah just look at this train this train is really insane i'm gonna take a screenshot like right even though it's on 360 it still looks good it really does um i'm thinking like right oh that looks nice that render we'll put some custom that looks really nice but anyway bye <laughs>